first video of the year. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said this was the uh, the first video of the decade I thought I was going to make. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to kick off the decade and this year on my channel this way, but the more I thought about it, the more I, I realized there is no other way I wanted to kick off this year than to try and help more people. <laughs> Before I really get into it, I wanna say that all the revenue from this video, all the revenue from anyone that may buy this book, and we're gonna to get to that. There is an Amazon link down below for this book. I just wanna say it now. Very important book to me. There is an Amazon link down below. It's a referral link. Then I will take that money and I will donate it to charity. And then the video that is releasing today, right now at the same time as this one on my brand new channel, which I this is the first time I'm even mentioning this, all the money that video makes on my new channel will also be donated to charities. What charities? You may be asking uh, the same charities that I donated to in my live stream last year to raise awareness towards mental illnesses like depression and anxiety and so many others. Those charities being ones such as the American Suicide Prevention Foundation and the Trevor Project. You can find links to all of them below. Those where I, that's where I'll be donating. And what is this? Can you guys see this? This is the cuddle you want to give me right now. You look ridiculous. Okay, you look sweet. <laughs> it was a very spur of the moment live stream where I wanted to raise $5,000. We smashed $5,000 in the first 30 minutes and we went on over the next 12 hours to raise $42,000, which equaled about $10,000 after fees and everything for all the four charities we were raising money for. It was amazing. It was therapy for a lot of us. Uh, I got to share a lot of my stories and hear a lot of your stories and help each other. And I wanted to do more with that this year. Obviously I was gonna do it again. It'd be stupid for me not to do it again, but I wanted to do more. I wanted to do something bigger and grander. And what I have done is something I feel is really cool. Uh, you guys might remember if you watch my channel, I reviewed Super Lucky's Tale recently where I got to go to Playful Studios and meet the people behind the game. Well, a lot of those people actually connected with me and showed so much appreciation for everything I have done for mental health and shared their stories. And when I told them I wanted to do another live stream, they showed me this really awesome live stream setup that they have and they suggested, they asked, they pleaded even for me to hold the live stream at their studio next time. And that's what I'm gonna do because it is a wonderful, incredible studio. It, there's so much room, it's so spacious. So I want to invite you into this stream whoever you may be. I am looking for content creators. If you're watching this and you're a content creator with a platform where you would like to spread this awareness for mental health, please connect with me, send me messages. And if you're just a viewer, a watcher, someone that knows a content creator or follows someone, just anyone that, that spreads this awareness and is a voice, get them to message me or tell, leave their comment down below with their names. I wanna get as many people that share this passion to join this live stream with me, to all meet up at Playful Studios and do a 24 hour live stream where we raise as much money as we can for mental health, for people who suffer with depression and anxiety. I have a lot more planned. It's all going down. This time I'm gonna give more warning. It's all going down on May 8th and it's gonna go 24 hours into May 9th. I'm gonna make sure that for at least some of it, there is going to be an actual real therapist on hand that you can ask questions to. We might have a system where you can call in or text in and talk to an actual therapist because that's a big thing. I feel a lot of people are either too afraid to go and see a therapist or people just can't afford therapy. It's expensive. So this could be a way of getting free therapy. I'm going to pay out of my pocket for a therapist to be there to help you and to help people and we can show and we can still share our stories but also just have a lot of fun people hanging out and having a great time while spreading this positivity and these messages that you are not alone, that you are never alone. And I know last year when we did this, I was so down and depressed. And when you were donating, I feel maybe possibly you were donating to show support to me and the situation I was in as much as you were donating to show all these people we were helping support. So I want to implore you that even though I'm in a better place this year and it's gonna be a much more fun and positive event in itself, there are still thousands, millions of people out there that are doing much worse than they were last year, that are doing as bad as I was doing last year or worse, definitely worse 
people that are suffering, people that need help, people that don't know how to get that help, and just this live stream might help them, let alone the money that we raise. So please, we raised 42,000 last time, the audience, my channel, you guys have grown and become an even bigger community. We can crush that. And I really wanna crush that together and do something truly special together. So yes, I need your help once again. Hey, is it my turn yet? Can I cut in there? Can I worm my way into this video? <laughs> no, no it's not because it's my time to talk about Supermarket. As I said, a book that's very important to me. So you're gonna have to wait after you're done watching this video. Make sure to check out the hottest, freshest new YouTuber on the scene with zero subscribers right now. Good to see you, not me. Oh man, what an amazing opportunity for this channel which currently has zero subs to be shouted out by this channel with almost a million. Wow, that never happens. <laughs> yeah, well this is awkward. I cannot recommend this book Supermarket enough. The book is written by Bobby Hall, who you might know as Logic, the artist who wrote, sang, made the song 1-800-273-8255, which the song obviously tackles suicide and depression in itself. I mean, that number that is the title of the song is the number for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. I think it's just brilliant too, because that song has billions of views from people connecting with it. And if they ever need to remember that number, they just have to remember the song title. Like Bobby slash Logic is such an advocate for mental health and has become an inspiration of mine over the last year. I actually didn't realize how much of an advocate he was until, and this is a little bit of a humble brag, after my video I made last year, he inboxed me on Twitter and offered to send me his book, which again, tackles depression, anxiety, and mental illnesses. And I, I really wanted to read it. Unfortunately, I saw his message like two months late. If you're watching this one, Bobby, uh, sorry. <laughs> it went to my message requests and by the time I replied, Bobby had moved on with his life, <laughs> which is fair. So I just bought the book myself and I loved it from front to back. I haven't read a book since my teenage years, but I couldn't put this thing down. The book is mind bending. Uh, it says on the back that it, it's compared to Fight Club, like someone else compared it to Fight Club, but it, it definitely the whole time that I was reading it, it's hard to not make those comparisons. But at the same time, it's completely its own story. It's its own trip to experience. The book follows a, a character called Flynn, who is writing a book. And that book that he writes throughout this book ends up being this book following along with me. And this character is dealing with a lot emotionally, experiencing his first panic and anxiety attacks and not really knowing what they are. But for all the dark themes it does deal with, it still manages to be a very exciting story. And that's what I love about it so much. If you have depression, if you've gone through these things, I feel like you can really relate with this book. And if you haven't, you can honestly learn what those things are like, what it's like to experience having an anxiety attack. A lot of it breaks the fourth wall too, like because he is writing this book that you're reading, sometimes he will trip himself up as he's writing it and start thinking about what he is going to write in the book that you're reading. And then he'll even apologize for reminding you that you are reading a book and taking you out of that experience. But at the same time, it adds to the experience, especially when you start thinking about the themes it deals with, like these mental disorders, like talking to yourself, like schizophrenia, like that whole fourth wall breaking really works within the confines of this story that he's telling and yet as dark as it is it's really fun and obviously uh being compared to fight club you can kind of maybe gather the theme of that before you even go into the books like what is real and what isn't real while reading it i was loving it but i i, I kind of thought that i was predicting certain things i really thought i had it figured out and i really didn't have it figured out flynn is a writer writing this book he wants to base his book in a supermarket so he gets a job working in a supermarket and the characters that he meets there are the characters that he starts to write into his book I'm I'm not gonna read it out. I actually tried to do a whole video where I read out parts of the book, but the video ended up being so stupidly long that I couldn't even edit it down to an, a normal amount for a video. Um, but on page 36 is where he really has his first big breakdown, but then reading Bobby write these words on the page. And this it, it, happens multiple times throughout the book where he writes something and I'm like, that's me. That's, I'm not, that's not just me. And I think that's why this book is so therapy to me. It also taught me something about myself I didn't know. And that's that I have a very hyper attentive mind. This character of Flynn, 
his mind is always racing all over the place and he can't chill out. He's always thinking of a million things at once, which is why he gets distracted and then ends up reminding you that you're even reading a book in the first place. And in this book, this character struggles with that and trying to be present in the moment and that had really taught me that I need to be more present in the moment. I need to enjoy moments more. Yes, there's a lot going on. Yes, YouTube is going well for me. Yes, I wanna start a new channel. Yes, there's a lot of things that need to be done and can be done at any given time, but there are just moments where you need to turn that off and just chill. And learning that I had, like, and, and I never even thought about it either. I never thought about the fact that I always have a million thoughts in my head. I just assumed that's how things were. And I was able to try and control that over the last couple of weeks by just taking a break and spending time with Kim. Again, it's an incredible book that has a lot of twists and turns. And I feel like a lot of you are gonna end up grabbing it. So I don't wanna ruin any of it. I will say that the very first scene of the book, like the very first thing you read, the very first chapter, is essentially what happens right at the end of the book. The main character Flynn is standing over a body of someone that he had just murdered and he doesn't really seem to care. And as you start to learn about Flynn, that situation makes no sense. Like why, why that's not him. So what got to that point is really what drives you forward in this book, but there's so much that happens on each page that you just wanna keep going. This book aside, I just wanna recommend like Bobby Hall Appreciation Day, logic in general as a person to be inspired by because again, his book, obviously he's very passionate about spreading this awareness, but also through his music. I mean, that one song he has is incredible, of course. It doesn't just stop at that song. So much of his music reflects this too. There's a song called Wannabe, which tackles uh, depression and social media and getting likes and follows on your stuff and how that affects your mental health. And if you don't get as much likes, it's this guy or your friend, it affects your self-worth. His music's really freaking great. So I can't recommend enough him as an artist, but listening through a lot of his songs and uh, you might learn something about yourself or it might just be therapy for you. Read his book. Um, he's, he's, he's become an inspiration of mine. Again, link below. Anything I earn from that affiliate link will be donated to uh, American Suicide Prevention Foundation. Uh, again, this video will be donated and then that video that you're about to watch, right? Hello, right? Hello, click on that video now. That video will be donated, if it even makes any money, because I don't even know. I think I'm monetized, I'm not sure. I think I have to get a thousand subs first. To end this, as I said, I already tried shooting this video a few times and I edited one completely and the end of that video I edited was very real and very raw. And, and um, I'm gonna end this by playing that. Finally, finally, and I've been putting off, <laughs> really been putting off this. Oh my God. This is why I put it off. Oh, I can't even say it. <clears throat> this live stream this time will be dedicated in honor to Edgar. And I'll talk about that more in that video. I love you guys so much. Thanks so much. Um, before I took my little break, the channel had just hit 800,000 subscribers and I was like, cool, that's a good place to end uh, and take a break for a while. And then I came back after not looking at the channel for like over a week and it had like 825,000. So um, if you're new, if you're one of those <laughs> new 25,000, this video might've been a bit much. <laughs>